Hello friends. Welcome to my new data structures and algorithms in Java tutorial series video. Friends. In this tutorial we will discuss, how to delete a node from a linked list, at a given position in Java. As shown in slide, we have a linked list with four nodes. Let's delete a node at a position 3. Here, 10 points to position 1. 8 points to position 2. And we need to delete node 3 that is node with data 15. Here, in order to delete at position 3, we need to disconnect its link from node at position 2. That is, we need to traverse till position 2, and delete the link. Below is the algorithm for this. Let's see working of it through a demo. In order to delete a node at position 3, we need to traverse list till position 2. For that, we create a temporary list node variable, by name previous, and point it to head. Moving further, in order to keep track of number of nodes traversed, we create a count variable, and initialize it to 1, because first node is already traversed by previous node. Moving further, next step is to execute few steps in a while loop. The while loop executes till previous node traverses to a node, which is just before position node. In our demo it's the second node. The condition used is, count should be less than position minus 1. Currently, value of count is 1, and value of position is 3. Thus, count value is less than value of position minus 1, that is 2. Thus, statement in while loop executes. In while loop we just traverse previous node by one node. And finally, as now previous points to second node, thus we increase value of count by 1. Moving further, again while condition is checked. This time value of count is 2, and 2 is not less than 2. Therefore while loop condition fails, and loop terminates. This signifies that, previous node has reached second node, from where we can delete third node, that is position node. Moving ahead, we will create a temporary variable by name, current. This variable will hold next node to previous. Our main objective is to delete current node from linked list, and return it back. Moving ahead. Previous node next points to current node, thus, instead of pointing to current, it should point to currents next. So, in this step we assign currents next value to previous nodes next. Moving ahead. Since current nodes next is still responsible for holding linked list. Last step would be to make its next point to null, and return back current node. Thus, we successfully deleted node at position specified. The final list becomes as 10 at position 1, 8 at position 2, 11 at position 3 and node 15 is removed from the list. Let's move to Eclipse and see it's working through code. Usually, interview question would be, given list node head, and integer position, delete node at the specified position. In singly linked list class, we create a method by name, delete at position. This method takes in head node, and integer position and it returns back deleted node after deleting it from the specified position let's code in method what we demonstrated in the slide first we perform checks on boundary conditions we call length method which we created in our previous tutorials this method returns back length of linked list we store length in size variable Then we perform check, whether position is in range of size or not.
if position is not in range, we simply print message on console as invalid position. Usually, an exception is thrown. And just return head node. Moving ahead. We make a check that, if position is 1. That is, when we have to delete first node. Then we perform operation as follows. First, we create a temporary list node variable, by name temp. And point it to head. Moving further. We make second node as head node. By assigning heads next to head node. Moving ahead. Temp node points to first node. Thus, we remove first node from list, by simply making temps next as, null. And, just returning it back. Moving ahead. Else, in order to delete node at position other than first, we perform following steps. We create a temporary variable by name, previous, and make it point to head node. Next step will be to create a count variable with value as 1. This variable will track traversal of previous node. Next, we create a while loop with a condition that, it should execute till previous node reaches a node, that is previous to position node. The condition to execute while loop iteratively will be, loop until count is less than position minus 1. Moving further, next step will be, in order to traverse previous node to its next, we simply assign previous dot next to previous and increase count variable by 1. Moving ahead. We will create a temporary variable by name, current. This variable will hold next node to previous. Our main objective is to delete current node from linked list, and return it back. Moving ahead. Previous node next points to current node, thus, instead of pointing to current, it should point to currents next. So, in this step we assign currents next value to previous nodes next. Moving ahead. Since current nodes next is still responsible for holding linked list. Last step would be to make its next point to null, and return back current node. Thus, we successfully deleted node at position specified. Let's test its working. In our previous tutorials, we created a linked list with four nodes. Let's use it. We call delete at position method, by passing head node, and position as, 3 to it. And on next line we simply print data of the deleted node. Let's run this Java program. You can see, on first line it prints, 10, 8, 1, 11 as nodes of linked list. On second line it prints, data of the deleted node at position 3. Thus, in this tutorial, we saw deletion of node at a given position. So friends, go through this video 2 to 3 times so that, how to delete a node from a linked list, at a given position in Java, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.